This is J. Randall Wilkerson, author of The Heart Failure Recovery Plan, Successful Heart Regeneration Using Metabolic Enzymes. This is part 27 of a 58-part video series of the entire book, chapter by chapter. If you have not already, please review the introductory video in our channel for the background information. We're going to go into chapter 6, Exercise Rehabilitation. Now the title of the book may have misled you into feeling that all you need to do is take proper enzymes, amino acids, and supplements, and that will give you a full natural recovery from heart failure. However, not to burst your bubble, but exercise, cardiac rehab exercise, is necessary, absolutely necessary, for recovery from heart failure. I was discharged with class 4 heart failure, and I could not even walk 80 feet. But every day, I walked as far as I could, until at the end of a week, I could walk around the block. You can start off with aerobic exercise by walking, and as soon as you can, increase the amount of effort and stress to bring your heart muscle strength back up. The heart is a muscle, just like leg muscles, arm muscles, except it's always working. And how much it works depends upon the aerobic stress that you apply. So start off by walking as far as you can if you are in very advanced stages. After four weeks from discharge from the hospital, I went on my first bicycle ride and managed to cover three miles. Now for someone who's not uh, accustomed to bicycle riding, three miles is a walk in the park. It's very easy, so that tells you how weak I was. I gradually worked my way on up to 5, 10 miles, 15 miles a day was my regular routine. And when Labor Day came around uh, 10 weeks later, I went on a 32-mile ride around the county. The key issue is you have to put in the effort. Five days a week at a minimum, seven days a week if you can. When you're bicycling, you can adjust the gears to adjust the pressure and so if you come up to the point where you feel your heartbeat is unstable, start downshifting gears so that you can reduce the uh, amount of effort 5%, 10%. A person with advanced heart failure can experience erratic heartbeats. So watch your limit. Watch your cardiac arrhythmias and back off to a stable heartbeat rate. You will need a quality bicycle if you choose that route. Uh, bicycle shops generally have the best bicycles with adjusted gears and braking systems, steering systems that are safe. Department store bicycles are not recommended because they're basically constructed to a price and assembled by a salesperson in the back of the store. A bicycle mechanic can catch all many misalignments and adjust the bicycle so everything works smoothly. The bicycle is a recommended method because it carries your body so your heart does not have to exert any extra effort just to support you as it does with joggers and runners. If you find that you personally cannot keep a daily exercise schedule for cardiac rehab, then consider arranging membership at a gym. Now, the first method, you, if you have health insurance, is to go to your doctor and have him prescribe a cardiac rehab at a facility where the insurance will pay for it. Then he can manage and direct your exercise schedule and make certain that you're constantly building up heart muscle strength. If you do not have that option, then go to a gym that's nearby and ask for a trainer. Explain to them thoroughly that you need cardiac rehab. You would also benefit from a swimming pool, weight training, aerobic exercise, various sports to keep it interesting and to enjoy what you're doing. This schedule should be rigidly adhered to, no matter what the weather. When it turns winter time here, I find it hard to motivate myself to go out bicycling when I have to put on three or four layers because of wind chill. Yet, I have to do it. Even though I'm fully recovered from heart failure, I have to maintain my physical condition and never let it degrade. Be sensible about your exercise limits. If you join a bicycle club or a bicycle team, don't let them get you, get you into a race. Maintain a pace that is stable and your personal rate 
so that you don't overstress your heart. You're trying to build it back up to normal. And constant daily exercise is far more important than most medicines. If you just don't feel like it, do less that day, but still do something. Even if you have to just go out and walk a mile or two or three. You're not in a race, but you are in a struggle to recover from a terminal disease. Whether or not your doctor has ever told you this, heart failure is terminal. It is not explained for the most part simply because doctors do not have a pharmaceutical medicine that can cure heart failure. You will find that it requires a suite of treatment therapy options besides enzymes, cardiac rehab, and other factors that will come on in the future of this book. My name is Jay Randall Wilkerson. I am the author of the Heart Failure Recovery Plan, Successful Heart Regeneration Using Metabolic Enzymes. This book is available from Amazon in a print and Kindle edition, from the Apple iTunes Store as an iBooks edition, from eBay as a print edition, and directly from the publishers, Wilkerson and Hughes, P.O. Box 777, Altoona, Florida, 32702, just includes a check for $24 to cover the book plus shipping and handling. Thank you for listening.